working at my desk and I heard a loud siren. I looked up and uh, right as I did, uh, an SUV and a police cruiser came speeding down the road. Uh, they collided and the SUV uh, flipped over the wall of that house into the yard. It landed on its roof. Four children were sent to the hospital. This all after a police chase just after 6.30 last night in Forest Acres. Officials responded following a shoplifting incident. Well, 37-year-old Ashley Baker was identified as the driver. She lost control of the car on Trenum Road before flipping over into a nearby yard. She remains in custody at a local hospital. Baker's four children have been released earlier this morning. Baker is facing multiple charges. Forest Acres Police Department has called in the South Carolina Highway Patrol to investigate since this incident involved an officer. Our Naomi Popa is following this story. She'll bring us the latest tonight right here on WIS at 5 o'clock. With an update now for you, new at noon, an update on that accident in Forest Acres last night involving a mom and her four kids. All four of those kids have been released from the hospital and treated for their injuries. Four kids are all under the age of 13. They were in the car during this accident. Baker was again taken to the hospital with minor injuries. She is still there today. Charges are pending. The South Carolina Highway Patrol is now investigating. Departments have a policy to not continue pursuit unless it's a felony. Midlands attorney Seth Rose is talking about a Tuesday night chase in Forest Acres where a 37 year old mother was accused of shoplifting then leading police on a short chase where they say she went more than 70 miles an hour after running from an officer at Trenum Plaza. It all started there just after six Tuesday nights before police say Baker sped away from them out of the parking lot and crashed into someone's front yard about a mile away with her four children in the car. She now faces several charges in this case. Three of them are felonies, including failure to stop her blue lights and several counts related to child endangerment and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Rose says the chase never should have happened. But it puts citizens that are watching this program who are leaving the gym, leaving the store themselves, getting gas, picking up their children from school, it puts them in harm's way that someone is barreling down the road running from police on a misdemeanor. According to an incident report, roughly $800 worth of items were stolen from the Bath and Body Works and Sephora at Trenum Plaza. Rose claims that doesn't rise to the level of a chase and she could have been arrested later. These establishments that this person was alleged to have committed these crimes I'll undoubtedly have video cameras. We now have the make of the car. There's probably video surveillance of the license plate. There is no issue with apprehending this individual at a later time. Baker had a bond hearing in her hospital room Wednesday night and bail was set at $14,000. According to Forest Acres officials, she is no longer in the custody of the city.